In this video, I'll be showing you how to make Mardi Gras decor on a budget. And it's all part of a collab called Sign Me Up. I'll talk more about that a little later. For this DIY, I'm using one of these rectangle signs from Dollar Tree, and I will be painting on the back of this. I'm going to leave the twine hanger just where it is, because I'll be using that to hang it up when I'm done. I'm using this beautiful color called Purple Iris Paint. It's an acrylic from Apple Barrel, and I just squeezed it on reapplied as I needed till I had a good coverage over the whole back of this sign. The next thing I'm going to do once that's dry is add a bow. Usually I would add a bow at the end of a project, but I need to know how far this is going to hang down so I cre can create a decal with my Cricut. Once I had that on there, I measured, and it's a good 12 inches in length and five and a half in width I went to my Cricut and made this decal with the font Adams type and I just wrote out let the good times roll using some bejeweled bedazzled I don't know what you call these gemstones yeah that's what they are gemstones from Dollar Tree I'm gonna add the purple the gold and the green that I have left just sprinkled around And then I'll add some more embellishment on the top. This one came from Walmart and it was $2.98. I want to get that Mardi Gras tag off of the, the uh, bundle. And then I'm going to hot glue that onto that big green glittery ball in the middle of the boat. The others will go in behind that gold stuff that looks like peacock feathers. Yep, it's time to start flipping. I just put some hot glue in behind there, made sure my hanger was on the back side, and stuck that pick in. And then a little glue on that green ball there. Stick on the Mardi Gras tag, the little Mardi Gras sign. And yeah, that was it. This is how it turned out, and it only cost $10. Let the good times roll, y'all. Before I get into DIY number two, let me explain how Sign Me Up collaboration works. As you would guess, we are using signs. We are making them, decorating with them, revamping them, as long as we have signs in our DIYs, we're good. This is hosted by Chantel of Crafty Hints, Brenda from Rustic and Lace DIY, and Amanda from Six Kids and a Glue Gun. All their channel links are below, as well as a link to this playlist. In this DIY, I'll be using this Mardi Gras Y'all Dollar Tree sign in a wreath. I'm going to use a square wreath form and also some mask and maybe some more embellishment from Walmart and maybe some ribbon. <laughs> Actually, it didn't make it in there. And some Dollar Tree mesh. I do not like the tubing mesh and you'll see why in a minute. I just used my ruler, measured out 12 inches in between each of those pieces of mesh, made a bow, made a loop. I hope you see what I'm doing because I can't explain what I'm doing. I'm just measuring out 12 inches of the mesh, putting a piece of pipe cleaner around that, and then wiring it to the middle section of that square wreath form. Once 
once I had it finished, I went through and snipped off some of that excess pipe cleaner hanging down. And I did the same per process with the purple. I couldn't find a good gold mesh. So I got this gold tubing mesh from Dollar Tree and it is no friend of mine. Do not like working with it. Won't work with it again. What I did was measured out um, 12 inch pieces and then I took those 12 inch pieces in bundles of three and twisted them together. Then twisted them on to the bottom of the wreath and ooh, is that ugly. So instead of putting that sign in the middle of the wreath as I wanted to, I'm going to cover up the top of those um, tubing mesh pieces with my Mardi Gras y'all sign. And I'm just going to wire it to the wreath. A wire on each side. Now I'm going to put some masks on here. I'm going to put the green on the purple the purple on the green and I'm just using the little ribbons that are attached already when you get them and just tied it in a bow in the back then I want to use some of this um, bundle of sparkly things from Walmart and that's how it all turned out all in all I'm pretty happy with it I just wish I had found the gold mesh and it would have come together like I had envisioned. This one is not really a sign, but it's something to hang on the wall. It's a picture frame. My sister wanted me to paint this up for her husband who loves weenie dogs and has one of his own. So I'm gonna take this white acrylic paint by Apple Barrel, put one coat all over the front of that frame then I'm going to take the purple iris color that I used previously and I'm going to outline the frame like so and also outline that square inside that where the picture goes see Next thing I'm going to do is add some little paw prints with the purple paint and I'm just using a regular rubber stamp and that purple iris paint. I'm going to paint it on to the stamp and then stick it down and I'm going to make those go all the way around. Well, two sides and the top. I wrote out Heidi in the little metal letters from Dollar Tree. And then I'm going to put some thick solid adhesive on the back and stick that down. There we go. I had a little bit of paint oozing out, so I just took the end of a skewer and kind of scraped that off before it set up. And then I went around with some puff paint. I'm trying to get practice with this puff paint so I can do better with it. I just kind of outlined all the curves of the picture frame and also the letters that spelled out Heidi. And then I come back in with some little dots for embellishing here and there. Like that. Just some little tiny dots. The last thing I do is add a bow with this pretty ribbon I picked up at Dollar Tree in the Easter supply section. And that's how it turned out. Isn't that cute? Thank you so much for watching my video today. If you enjoyed it, leave me a thumbs up and remember to watch the Sign Me Up playlist. Until next time, bye-bye.